in the milk container, in my creepy roommate's milk container. So she's gotta go, right? I mean, this is like a death threat or a health code violation. And the time has come for Carmilla to go. Well, there's no denying it's a little odd. Odd? That's where you're going with this? How many people you know take typo with their chocolate crunch? Okay, LaFontaine, you know you're not here in an official capacity, so as Laura's Are you really gonna Florida, try and pretend this isn't a total freak show? We haven't even given the roommate a chance to explain herself. For all we know, it could be some kind of, like, protein supplement. For extreme hemoglobin deficiency? Okay, helping. I know you want to pretend the weird here is all Dr. Seuss pair, but in my world, the Alchemy Club press gang's test subjects in the calf. As this floor's unofficial truth speaker, I'm gonna tell Frost she needs to wise up if she intends to survive. Oh, see? Surviving. Yes, I like that plan. And in order to do that, we need to get rid of Carmilla. Well, it's not that I don't understand, but don't you think you ought to talk to her first? A lot of problems can be solved through good communication. A lot of problems can also be solved by taking hair and blood samples to figure out exactly what kind of freaky it is you're dealing with. Oh, wow. Oh, that, okay. Hmm. I'm a bio major. Okay, if you can't help me, should I go to the dean? What? That's really not a good idea. Yeah, better just handle this yourself. By complaining to the dean, you'd probably just draw attention to yourself and you don't want that. They could stick you with someone much worse. You don't want to end up with some Draco pyromaniac, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, Draco pyromaniac. Besides, What's your not? old roommate will probably be back soon and then Carmilla will have to move out. It's a distinct possibility. That's what happened with all the other girls who disappeared. 